Hey, welcome back to Barley and Hobbs again. I'm George. Uh, today's video is going to, all of these are a lot of fun, but today's going to be extremely fun. Uh, we're going to cut our spirits that we have already prepared, and I've got a half a gallon here, and I've got some in my zero water filter. I was going to show you that, uh, and a few other things that we've got around here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down to a manageable level, which is what we consider the consumption stage or the consumption level, uh, which is about 80 proof, 85 proof, uh, 90 for some folks. Um, and there are people out there that are really like it a lot hotter than that. We call it hot when you get higher. Uh, they, they like it a lot hotter than that, and that's quite all right. But, you know, your, your commercial standard is right at 40% alcohol, 45%, which is 80 to 90 proof. So we're going to cut it down and then we're going to age it. We're going to use some, uh, introduce you to some oak spirals. Uh, we've used these before. Uh, we've also got the oak staves. Uh, you know, you slice those down with a knife. Just hit, you know, put a knife on there and hit it. And they'll, they'll, they'll slide right off. So we've used those. My all-time favorite and always go-to is my medium toasted oak chips. So now we've used all of these uh, and I just prefer the oak chips. And this is one of those examples of, you know, there are so many different techniques out there, and they all work. Uh, but listen, if, make sure you're using American white oak. Uh, French white oak is very uh, good as well, but the American white oak, I like to keep things more traditional. Hey, we're in America. Let's use American white oak. So the American white oak, um, th these are just as good. They're just other products. They come in uh, similar forms. So other techniques do work. So find the one that best suits you and uh, you know, stick to it. It, it. If it makes you giggle, do it as often as you possibly can. All right, uh, words of wisdom from George. Uh, these just make me giggle, so I use them as often as I possibly can. I've got my five liter barrel here, and this is a more of a delivery barrel, and you'll notice the backdrop changed a little bit, and these are some of the other barrels that we offer. These larger five gallon and 10 gallon barrels, uh, they're more of a storage barrel. Uh, there's no spigot on it. You know, you, you, you hammer in where that red cap is, you hammer in the, the wooden bung, the American white oak, um, these are all American made, and those are normally used for your long-term storage. If you're trying to make one of those really, really unique bourbons that you have to store for a long time, well then, those are really good. But when it comes to just aging for a short period of time, which you take advantage of, because the maturation time goes way, way down as the barrel gets smaller. Um, and it's also got a spigot on it, so it's great for delivery. And oh, hell man, when somebody walks in your house, man, your cool points go way up when you got a barrel of shine, spirits, liquor, bourbon, whiskey, whatever you want to put in there, or whatever it is you, that, that, that you're making. Okay, um, we'll get through that in just a second. What I wanted to share with you too, uh, as we get started here, because I've got distilled water, I've got spring water, you can use both. Um, there, I just got a message on my phone. Uh, I'll answer the phone if, if it rings, so uh, bear with me. And look, I've got a flint bottle. I like using these. Uh, we carry these in the store with and without the little ring. Uh, these are really, really unique, and uh, they kind of take the place in some cases of the old mason jar. Uh, they're really unique for gifts and, and for carrying around, and plus, you know, your cool points go up again. So uh, that my zero water filter, I've got about a half a gallon in here now, and it's already run through. Uh, remember, if you're going to use a zero water filter or a brittle water filter, please ensure that you never, ever, ever use this filter for water. Um, not even when you first open it. When you first put it on, um, don't run water through it just to get it wet and get it cleansed. If you do, you'll leave some water in there, and then when you pour your shine in, when it comes out the other end, you're going to call me and say, George, my proof dropped. Yeah, the filter took all the alcohol. No, it didn't. It, it diluted it. <laughs> the, there was some water left in there that you poured in with it, and it's going to dilute your alcohol. So uh, please, just use it only, only, only for your spirits. And when you're finished with it, if you've got kids around the house, switch the filter out. You know, keep your alcohol filter in one place and your Kool-Aid filter the other. Uh, if you get them mixed up, uh, you'll probably notice it if the kids make Kool-Aid. <laughs> So just be real careful, cautious. All right. Hey, listen, you know, I know that, um, and, and while we're doing this, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about history because uh, i got to fill in some space because it takes a little time to do some pouring and stuff. Um, but listen, we know that this is a private hobby for you. Your anonymity is guaranteed. So 
please don't ever worry about that. Hey, we're going to launch a new website very, very soon. It's going to be called barleyandhopsbrewing.net. And we're going to focus most of our attention on our distillers and that type of a hobby and science and that process. Of, and when we list on there, we're going to have a lot of photos and we're going to add prices this time so that you'll be able to look and kind of see, get an idea of um, the, the costs of some of this equipment that you can order through us. Um, but be cautious and understand, I'm, not, I'm still not prepared yet to do an online ordering. Um, please bear with me. I'm, a, I'm like a one-man show. I enjoy this. This is a wonderful hobby. Uh, so I've got, a, I've got a gig that I work four days a week, and trust me, and I think you'll agree, if, if I had an online uh, website uh, for ordering, uh, it would take all of my time, and I'd be working seven days a week, and that's really not our business model. We want to give you that individual, unique perspective and that individual and unique experience. So please don't hesitate to call. Um, we'll call you back. Uh, and, and if you do call and you have some questions and you want us to walk you through it and talk you through the process, I do ask that you try to be as brief as you can because understand there's someone else that's trying to call in. And uh, if you call, you're going to get me. You're not going to get someone else. So. And in addition to that, um, your emails, you'll notice that you'll never get an email from me that's a chain email that's got a lot of other people's uh, information on it. You get in touch with us, you become part of the community, but you have that anonymity and that individual right to be left alone. You'll never get a, an email with a long chain of other folks uh, from this community. Any email you get will be directly back and forth between us. So keep that in mind. Your privacy is important to us and we understand that this is a private hobby. So, on to bigger and better things. So let, let's get to the next part, which is what we're going to start doing is we're going to start, we're going to measure, and then we're going to cut this, and then we're going to condition, and I'll explain that conditioning phase a little bit more, and then we're going to add our oak chips and start the, the aging process. And then at the very end, when we, want, when we are ready, and that will be about four or five days, uh, we'll, we'll pour into our barrel, and we'll get ready to start delivering. Uh, this is... What more can I offer you? I mean, this is just such a unique and such an, uh, a wonderful experience to go through when you marry all of these sciences and these techniques and these processes together. And I call that that perfect marriage. So in just a moment, let me get reset and uh, I'll get behind the table and we'll start going through this. So bear with me.